okay. We know that we much. We know that much, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the Through 8 Podcast. <laughs> no, we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. I'm Elias, that. that's M, Hi. JP, and Los. What's the deal? What up, guys? What's up, Wiz? What up? What's up, man? Uh, so, uh, we're kind of going back to the old camera style. But Woo! We'll my see how long this lasts. My fave. Like move this. <laughs> it's like it's such an a- awkward it is what it is Spots. we'll work on it guys we'll work on it we'll um it. so yeah let's just jump into it let's start off with pop culture uh let's start off with with r kelly <laughs> how many of you guys have been surviving him it seems like you read it everybody's been talking about that on social media it's, yeah. it seems surviving. like you read yeah. it so lifetime has his uh surviving r kelly documentary going and man i am i mean i well, i never watched lifetime you gotta tune into Lifetime. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, no, no, missing yeah. out. Let's just because we're I'm 30. We're, everyone's around the same age group here. 30. R. Kelly has been you around since uh-huh. since the 90s. Uh, um, and and he's had a history since the 90s of um, uh, liking younger women mm. that are not of age. Mm. And mm. Uh, Leo mm. apparently was um, married to him. Um, his point of view is that she lied. And her she point of view was like she, she took advantage know. of her. So, anyways, wow. they got together, whatever. And he's had a history. He, of course, uh, allegedly, because allegedly, wasn't, he wasn't yeah, found allegedly. guilty. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. He, he, he allegedly peed on a fourteen-year-old girl. Um, <laughs> uh, and there was allegedly. a video on it. Allegedly. But he was, it was alleged. He was not. He was found out guilty. Let me clarify that he was found out guilty. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there were other instances. So apparently, Lifetime did this whole thing where like they brought. R. Kelly survivors that had survived. Survivors. Mm-hmm. And uh, they came on there and they, you know, they pretty much talked about how he mistreated them, how he's a monster, how, you know, they were sex slaves and how he would mentally uh, uh, abuse them and right. like kind of dictate their environment and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's been like all over social media, YouTube, radio, yeah. this whole fucking week. And so it seems like we were ready. For, I mean, there's, for R. there's been a lot of that going on. Even like artists who've been working with him are like coming out and be like, "What the hell? I didn't know that motherfucker was that crazy." Yeah. No. So they were like, "Oh, I'm sorry for working with him." Like Lady Gaga. Oh no, yeah. Lady Gaga took oh, yeah, down that song. I didn't song. even know they made music. Oh, I yeah, they, she took down that song and she apologized mm-hmm. and she was just like, "I don't want to." Why? Be associated. Because she supposedly yeah. was like sexually harassed. She was sexually the thing that gets me is too, is I'm 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 a culprit in this too. We knew. I mean, I never saw the video. I never saw the video either. On the girl, I remember when it happened. I, I try to see. Try to find that shit. (laughs) Two thousand two internet. It was kind of like, it was known. Mm -hmm. That that was R. Kelly pissing on an underage girl. No, but Um, also around that time, because ESPN was found out too about around that same time, and it it was going around a lot because a lot of people were like lying and saying because Michael Jackson stuff was going around that time too. That uh, that a lot a lot of people were lying and uh, saying that you know they were of age and they weren't of age, Um, and that's what happened to ESPN. It just kind of shows where I I feel, Mm -hmm. and I know I'm a I'm a part because I was like I kind of just washed over that shit. I was you know a big R. Kelly fan. Mm -hmm. Um. It just shows how we kind of like accepted that shit and normalized it and kind of just didn't regard it. Uh, watching uh, Surviving R. Kelly made, just made me see like, damn, this guy's a fucking creep. Like, you know. That's kind of gross. Like, it's yeah, like, no, it's well, it's what, what did you think? Did you, did you no, watch I it? No, I didn't watch it. You didn't watch it? I've been well, working way too much overtime to even watch anything. What Literally. Do you think of R. Kelly <laughs> what do you think general? of R. Kelly in general in the whole issue? The whole I think it's gross, <laughs> and I, I, no, I just, I, I don't know how people can respect mm-hmm. anybody over something like that, mm-hmm. or you know, even well, like overlook these kinds of things. Yeah, you know, just like, the, because he's famous, doc, people tend to like overlook these kinds of things. Yeah. You know, on the dog, they, they, one of his, uh, I think the tour manager or something like that for him, he, he came out and said a lot, like a lot, a lot of things he did a lot of for things, him. Yeah. Like, like covering how, for him or something? Like, oh, like covering for really? him. An assistant, I think. Yeah, they forged documents. Uh, forged documents for, for him. Yeah. Oh, that's His terrible. brother came out they, and said it too. They, yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't like above and beyond for this guy. For him, and it's because this guy has money. He has, he has control over them, power over them. 
And because they want the money, of course, they're going to do what he asks. And it's sad, but they... Shows they, you what you can do with money. It sh- yeah, it and, does. And the, and the girl that he, uh, ale- you know, he pissed on. Allegedly. Um, Allegedly. Nah, he pissed on her. <laughs> Allegedly. Um, her and her family, basically, when they were... Uh, when they <clears throat> testified during that hearing, yeah. they, so they, they said that it wasn't her. I mean, her, the girl, yeah, the mother. They don't want so why she's saying it's her now? They don't want no, that on their still family. Is yeah, not, that makes like, sense. Talking about it, they she's, don't want. She to wasn't be on this guy. Of that. So yeah. of course they're gonna say like, no, it wasn't me. She basically, it's like, well, her brother was still employed by R. Kelly, mm-hmm. right? So he was making money. R. Kelly had a lot of money then. That I mean, it just seems like the parents and the girl didn't want to yeah. their face in the media. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. They don't, so they were just like it. It wasn't her, mm. but the girl was getting pissed. Yeah, like, yeah. In even Ar- her Kelly, best friend. Like everybody were, knows. R. Kelly had other cases too. Yeah, but they were like settled out. Of court. They were settled out of court. Mm. Yeah. So it's like a constant thing. Like I. The last well, time I, I, I want really I want to give my opinion. I'm just waiting for y'all to get. To I get thought it. you just did. Right? Nah, no, I'm just waiting for y'all to get. Well, I. I um I like R. Kelly's music. A lot of people were like, "Well, you can't differentiate the music from the that's, person." That's that's what the the difficulty. Yeah, thing is and I, and I'm like, when he, okay. When he came out with, uh, I believe I can fly. Yeah, and, you felt like he wasn't gonna be that type of person. Yeah, well, you the way the way I see it is, uh, if we're ridiculous. gonna bring that same energy with R. Kelly, bring it with Michael Jackson, and bring it with other artists that actually do the out. exact same thing. Because Michael yeah, Jackson was Michael known Jackson to be, pedible, and, and I like Michael Jackson songs. So Michael yeah. Jackson's yeah. having a documentary coming out. Yeah, so for me, R. Kelly, I'm still I still like his songs. I still like his music. Um, I'm still gonna listen to it uh, as him as a person. Of course, what he did was disgusting as far as with the underage. But I also put a lot of blame on the parents. Uh, you have to be like in, in your kid's loud. life. Uh, you have to be in your Holy kid's shit. life. They're 14, 15 <laughs> years old, and and you're not around. You don't know what's going on because the, in the documentary and even outside of the documentary, like. They said that he would go to McDonald's around high schools and shit. What the fuck? Yes. He would hang yeah, out he around, would hang around. He would hang high, out. High was this documentary just like one whole, like, it was like a, like his, an no, hour? It, it was a six-part like, series. It was like... Six parts? Six yeah, parts. they would get um, girls who confessed from each, like, part of his life. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. from early career, there was these girls. From his middle part of the career... Oh, what the, the fuck? Career, there's these girls. Yeah. From now... Late recently, there's these girls. Yeah, they, but see, what tripped me out, what tripped me out is that ever since this video came out, a whole bunch of other videos have been coming out as well. Um, there's a lot of like all these girls that were like, oh, he enslaved me, whatever. Like they're the main ones, like at his concerts and high fiving him that's and thing. like touching it's, him. I think it's just the pu- publicity. Then it's yeah, like they're doing it just for the publicity. That's why I don't really know who to really believe. Exactly. I, you know because like they're well, going that's, on, and that's the problem right there too. Yeah, they're going on you shopping don't know, sprees. You don't know who to believe, and then these girls that that went through this stuff are not gonna be beli- uh, believed. Well, yeah, and that's the sad like, part when like, when you sad. get someone who's being accused so consistently and so so much throughout their life yeah obviously there i mean there's some obviously i mean the, if you think mm-hmm. about you know, it I'm not taking there pennies. are people out there to pay these people to you know shut yeah. their mouths and so mm-hmm. i think they do that because they know that they can get paid you know to mm-hmm. you know like oh we need you to shut your mouth or stop yeah. saying these things or spreading these rumors yeah, but when there's so but it's much just like, of it going on but I see mean, come on this is not just r kelly he, he married a 15 year old yeah he that right there was like wow he, his own wife ex-wife mm. you know who he has like is, is is on there um, oh no, even now with the daughter coming out of, yeah the daughter it, came it, out his daughters are coming out and saying this stuff like this isn't just BS yeah. this is true this is a this, guy that I, has enough money to shut people up this is a like guy that's, he... that's po- popular enough because his music is good and yeah. that's the sad part like and people still and people like, are willing like, to forgive just, him because of that and people are still dumb. paying to go to go see him in concert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And hey, I ain't gonna lie. Me That's- and you, remember a while ago, we saw him on that Netflix, on the uh, the concert he had on Netflix. This is a while ago. This is like years ago. Well, I know. I, oh, yeah. And we were like, man, this motherfucker puts on a badass yeah, fucking he puts show. On, he put, he and put like, on a like, great show. Like, for me, it's like, like I understand, like, because for all this to come out, some of it got to be true at some point. Yeah. But the same energy y'all motherfuckers bring to R. Kelly Y'all better bring it to to uh, all these other like mm-hmm. y'all better bring it to Michael Jackson. Exactly. Uh, y'all, y'all better bring it to Lenny Gaga on her old past bullshit. Y'all better bring this all around because y'all be out trying to throw shade at everybody, 
But they, but when it comes to a certain person, oh no, 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 we can't do that. We can't do that. No, I think we're at that point where. No, I mean, have you not been around the last year? Everybody's going down. Nah, everybody's exactly. getting caught. That's, no, that's it's only funny. for me. It it's only certain people that have had history. No, uh, I haven't seen it. That's it, because even on like just on the music side on Spotify, Spotify and some other uh, uh, the streaming companies have been like banning music from people that have been like uh, like allegedly like raping allegedly. people, uh, gang related or some shit like that. Like they've been actually going after because, them too. Because 21 Savage beat his wife or beat his girl. XX Estancion beat his girl. Uh, uh, all, we have a whole bunch of artists that do different stuff. So don't bring that just same energy just because of R. Kelly. Just because we know about R. Kelly. Because this, this stuff we've already known. Like y'all acting like this is something brand new. You know, yeah, that's the thing is, and, and to like, me, it's stupid because y'all bringing out in the past because he was irrelevant. Like honestly, R. Kelly, I, I don't think he's been relevant for a long time. Still, he's he's still, this is shows. still happening to this day. Yeah, he's still doing. Yeah. It. He has girls like that. He doesn't let go. He doesn't let them go out. He doesn't let them communicate with their They're family. Imprisoned. They're pretty much in prison. I don't know. I, I don't believe that. I think yeah, you, but the, the, you the, have the, your own choice. With the older girls, uh-huh. like come on, man. Uh, uh, you're 25 and you're trying to touch a 15 year old. You know who a 15 year old is. You're 25 no, 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 years no, no, old. No, no, I'm not saying she that. She said it. She said she was 24 <laughs> yes, and yes, she knew yes. the other girl was 16 and they still had a threesome. No, but so to me, no, it's like she said, both of them. she said it was afterwards. Yeah, she didn't know until afterwards. Man, she didn't know until afterwards. You know, man. But you know what trips me young. out is that these older women, and some of them 30s, some of them mid 20s, he's keeping locked down, but. I can't, that part, I can't really put fully on R. Kelly. Hell I mean, nah. I, I can't it. put it on he's R. Kelly a, either. He's a manipulative person. I get it. But if you weak-minded, you weak-minded. Like, come on. How are you going to make somebody, you know. But it, it really shows the money talks. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Money really that's, fucking so that's talks. With the Honestly. older ones and these parents that are still, haven't, they haven't seen their daughter in years mm-hmm. because R. Kelly doesn't let these girls speak to the family. Man, I'm sorry, but that that's on that's on them girls. Uh, uh, yeah, R. Kelly's a sick-minded motherfucker. He's manipulative. He's been doing this his whole life, mm-hmm. so he's really good at it at at fucking with people's minds. Um, he's uh, you know people got different skills. I think R. Kelly's skilled at lying and and fucking with yeah. people's mind. Um, but at the same time, like these are grown yeah. ass women. Well, well, we'll see what comes out I mean, in the in the at, future. At this point, as long as people continue listening to his music, yeah. going to his shows like they did, like they showed, I think recently that he there's still still people going to yeah, his shows. Yeah, sold out. Hey man, I, I like, still listen to R. Kelly. As long as so. that continues, he will continue to do whatever he's. And half of y'all, half y'all, half y'all motherfuckers, um, half y'all motherfuckers were born because of R. Kelly and his music. I think so. a, a, a county in Georgia is investigating him. They yeah, they are investigating him. Okay, but they're investigating because they after the documentaries they're getting more calls. Uh-huh. Uh, so they're but, see, but they're investigating. They're investigating. We'll That's see. It. We'll see. Moving and on. Motherfucker Moving likes on. the videotape shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, supposedly, supposedly yeah. yeah. Tape that shit. Uh, uh, okay, so let's really quickly let's go over the the Oscar. So supposedly, okay, so the Oscars Hart, or Golden the Oscars? Oh, oh, the Oscars, Oscars, Oscars. Oscars? Oh, okay. so Kevin Hart is definitely not going to do this. He's, Hell yeah. Okay. He's not. He's not. Wait, he's, he's not saying that he's never going to do it. He's just saying he's not going to do it right now. Mm-hmm. Oscars are uh, now considering just having no hosts, no hosts, and just doing like what little mean, skits with different celebrities. They don't really need. A host, really? That's what honestly, I, 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 they've never I really needed one. I, the host maybe does like one or two real skit, like the openly monologue. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Right, and then after that is just really nothing, and maybe like a skit, like he said. Why don't they just they get did. Jimmy Kimmel? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean that's like, <laughs> okay. Look, look, I look, guess. Look, All like right. okay, <laughs> but for them to sure. not get anybody, it sh- speaks to me that people aren't happy what they do with Kevin Hart. Yeah, because they're look, not. That's, that's I don't exactly think they are say, happy at all. Honestly, with I'm glad this is happening. So all this stupid backlash, backlash for jokes can stop because Kevin Hart's a comedian. Whatever he said in the past, and he should have the freedom to say whatever the fuck he wants. Everybody, uh, everyone should. Freedom. We're in the USA. <laughs> if he wants to say cuss word, he wants to talk about his son or whatever, whatever. Like that, that, and he wants to use the f words, all type of f words, r words. He should be able to. We're in America, and I'm glad that they they did that. He did the only thing I did not like is that he apologized again. 
Because he had already apologized before. Um, I wouldn't have apologized at all. No, it, I, I would have been like, "Fuck y'all!" I said what I said. Like, I kissed my ass. Reiterating what he look, man. I, I, you know, I already said like because he went on Ellen. Like, he went on Ellen yeah, and he yeah. doing a whole apology. And Ellen was like, "I talked to the Oscar people, and we're just trying to see if you'll do it." And he was like, "No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it." And I, if I was him, I would have told her, "Look, number one, I ain't apologizing for shit, and number two, uh, no, I ain't doing that shit." And that's it. And that, no, this I'm is glad a he's not doing it. This is I'm a lesson for yeah. people who meddle. Who people who meddle, who get like butt hurt, this is a lesson for them. Don't fuck with the Oscars. But the Oscars doesn't need a host. They can go on. Yeah, yeah. they'll be fine without a host, they honestly. They'll celebrities be celebrities okay. come up yeah. for every award. Like I they'll said, figure it out. they got writers. Is, they got yeah, writers. They'll be, fine. they'll be fine. It's not really, I don't think it's going to impact the, sh- the show. Me but I'm much, glad Kevin Hart didn't mm-hmm. fucking. Yeah, I, I'm take glad it. he didn't take it either. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. All right. Uh, let's move on to gaming because, damn, we took a long time with our <laughs> No, it's fine. It's fine. We have a lot to say about our You can cover it up with Mark Kizzle. All right. Kizzle. All right, so in gaming, uh, a lot actually happened this week in Woo. gaming. Uh, okay, so Bungie splitting from Activision. Bungie is taking yeah, their rights from Destiny. They're getting a divorce. And Bungie's, <laughs> um, Bungie is deucing out from Activision, and Activision's like, okay, that's fine. Well, in the public's eye, they're like, yeah, we... we we broke up. It's okay. No big deal. But fuck no. <laughs> Behind the scenes, Bungie, when they when it was reported that they announced like to their staff that they were separating from Activision, fucking celebration. Yes. Like they were like cheering. clapping and cheering. Yeah. They're like, fuck yes. Like, finally. There was buzz in the in That the, makes me think like Destiny probably could have been a better game yes. but Activision. It, it yes. probably would a have. A thousand times like, better. Probably. Now I'm hyped but about now Destiny. they're saying that they're gonna release more stuff like Forsaken. Well, they already have since they're mm-hmm. separating they, now. They already had a plan for um you know so i think they're that that plan is like way far ahead mm-hmm. like they're they've been preparing for it so they're gonna release that stuff what i'm excited for is like second part of 2019 what's gonna happen maybe even early 2020 what's gonna happen maybe halo never ends at this point, I think Bungie is pretty much okay. This is what we're gonna do for Destiny's two. It's already set in stone. We're yeah, not really exactly. gonna change anything. Is this anything. Destiny two's yeah. year? As far no, <laughs> as far as like what what they had planned, it's not gonna. It's change. not gonna change. And then what, whatever they had planned with Activision is still gonna go well, on. So, but when it comes out to the next one, I think yeah. that's where you're gonna see the difference. Yeah, see, I agree. And, and they've been like, um, yeah, you might be right. Uh, they've always been adamant on September's. Mm-hmm. Something always goes down in September, but mm-hmm. now it shows that Activision was the one pushing yearly content um mm-hmm. so it, it's kind of like man wh- are they gonna keep that september thing on going uh, yes. do they already I have mean, something set in to- stone or are like you said are they just okay let's just finish out destiny 2 yeah let's really do what we want with destiny 3 mm-hmm. um and go all out with that next systems the next gen systems are about to like come start out, yeah. yeah but not now they're gonna come on like two years no I think 2020 is nah 2021 start, cause releases. the next one for Xbox is like promoted for five years from now so yeah. I mean it's it's gonna be a while I, but I the way know, I, you never know yeah it could be yeah. towards the end of 2020 yeah because from, from what I see here it, cause Activision it looks Call like they Blizzard. Yeah. And all of those uh, this monetary decisions those games make, developers make, it's very, like, sometimes even predatory, the, mm-hmm. the kind of uh, monetary decisions they make. Call of Duty with all the DLC, all, like, uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it's ridiculous. Blizzard now making mobile games. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I, Activision <laughs> is... One of the big, like the biggest problem that all these developers have, that for sure Bungie have. Mm-hmm. Do I do I think Bungie's gonna do a better job now? I hope because I've mm-hmm. I've been a big Destiny fan. Destiny Two just uh, infuriated me because not only is there a DLC you have to pay for, if you want all the content, you got to get the season pass, mm-hmm. which is on top of the DLC for like what you're paying for Forsaken. So I, I well, just I mean, dislike I, I don't blame too. Activision. I don't blame Activision because I blame gamers for that. Because if we gamers, as we ban once again, if we band together and we stop buying DLCs, <laughs> they'll stop making He's fucking DLCs. So passionate, but, yeah. Be, but you stupid motherfuckers want to buy DLCs for stupid ass shit. That's how you get and, on your side. And well, that's actually, how you fuck shit up. People everybody speaking with their wallets asses. show Destiny. Like obviously, there's a Destiny truth. Destiny two, the people didn't pay. Activision had a problem. Bungie was like this. And, and that's my oh, point. People did not pay 
for their DLCs. You know how their DLCs, like they're trying to promote them now. Like the new ones are coming out, and they're not even the same price as they as they were because they were supposed to be like twenty five ninety nine each time they came out. They're starting to be lower than that. It's just uh, Activision. Well, we'll see where it is going now. Uh, Bungie, they have history with good games. Even though we don't like Destiny, we have to admit like the Destiny. first Destiny was a big change. Destiny Two is where I just I I tried, man. I've given that game. Yeah, I, I don't like tries. that they went backwards in Destiny Two. Yeah, exactly. That's, they, that's they, they really did. I thought they that just was, kept it the same. They, they went backwards. It with was it. No, um, they changed it, it. If it was it's, like Destiny, I would have been in. Mm. Destiny 2 just I it, tried and it just it was a super flop like yeah. Destiny 2 like it's just come a waste. on man learn from what <laughs> but Destiny we're gonna is. get Anthem I had so much hope in Destiny mm. and same like game, Destiny 2 like, so many like nah man I'm just like no, nah, I'm not gonna do this again <laughs> Uh, I'm just not. Let's just wait for Anthem, guys. Hours. We'll just, we'll yeah. just wait. We're just uh, waiting for Anthem. Like, yeah, and we're, that's we're the thing. Like, uh, you know, Bungie need to step it up because Anthem is right around the corner. And uh. um, Okay, so really short take on GameStop. They're being sold. Bye! <laughs> so, <laughs> no. To two companies. I forgot. I was actually looking for it. No, I, no I but GameStop. There's a, for yeah, it. there's a bidding war yeah, for it. Bidding uh, war. No, they deserve it. GameStop uh, with their bullshit ass yeah. uh, uh, bull, uh, buy games and then I'll yeah, just buy them for like, like two or three dollars. Three hundred games and like two controllers and I'll get yeah, back like They'll give you games 40 are... cents for it. <laughs> so a, a used Excuse game. Me? It was 60. A, a, a new game 60. A used game is 55. Oh, things are taking five dollars. That's like off. sixty. Then I might have to pay in tax anyways. <laughs> so you have so to pay for new th- games. That's anyway. why I'm glad GameStop are losing their business. Hopefully, whoever takes over does a better job mm-hmm. because they don't really got to do much. They just have to change the culture of GameStop. In my yeah. personal opinion, well, honest- that, that, um, yeah. Um, yeah. I agree with that. And and the culture with GameStop is a lot more like um, too money late, hungry, money hungry, when it should be and customer be, friendly. I think well, I think duh. they 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 kind of monopolize that it's a business, business too. They because do. There were, there were other companies uh, like uh, against them. I mean, you know, uh, coming up at first, coming up with them, but then they started buying those up. Yeah. And now it's just them. No, and yeah, you have the monopoly. Take advantage of it. Like, change your business structure. And I, I assure you, GameStop would have been a more successful company. Like the whoever's running this company is is lost. Is no whoever's running know. the company just said peace and took a whole bunch of money with them. <clears throat> well, they I, haven't sold it yet, but it's. I think they're in the talks, but it's gonna when, happen. Whenever they do the transactions between the like the like buying your used stuff, yeah, like they don't they don't see it as like this one store is buying it. They're seen as a whole. Every every one of their chains is buying it. So that's why you get so little for what you're trying to like you know trade in for but i think like he's saying like if they change the business model the way they do that they can make more money off of that and they can actually like pay more to the people that are training in their stuff but they try to incentivize you by like like trading in, and then like instead of like getting money you get credit towards like buying something else and you get a little bit more than you wouldn't cash but I mean, they just need to change the way. I they tried do that. I really did. They need to change the way their stores look inside. Well, they need. Yeah. To, they need to like a makeover, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, I I tried the whole trading games, and and that's just full of shit. I never got what I was due. <laughs> Nobody um, does. And so I was just, I just got tired of it, and I don't even buy the rewards card or whatever. Um, they, what you said, remake the store. Make it not just about games, because now if I've noticed that GameStop brings a lot of anime stuff and make well, it because Toys R Us is gone, so it's like yeah. where else are they gonna yeah. sell? Yeah, so they can like sell that. that stuff, and then not only that, your people that you hire, you might have to raise that wage more. Yeah, those people, are y'all terrible. need to get some new fucking people at yeah. GameStop yeah. because I'm tired of y'all always trying <laughs> to fucking talk to me when I'm just trying to buy a game and leave. Like, I'm sitting here trying to get a game before I go to work, and then you guys are sitting here telling me about the whole fucking story about some other game to get. No, seriously, every single time. Hey, man, these nerds are lonely. Every single (laughs) fucking time I walk into GameStop. These nerds are lonely. Shut up. Every time I walk into GameStop, y'all always want to fucking talk to me. I'm not trying to talk to you guys. As I said, every time I'm like, they're I'm just busy. fans of you. No, no. Maybe they're fans. Maybe they're Twitch. Fan. Really? No. Dude, I went to GameStop, no. and then there's a guy there that watches our show, so please, let's, <laughs> let's keep that one viewer. Okay, well, if I, ever, <laughs> if, I ever, if I ever encounter you, please don't talk to me when I'm trying to buy a game. I'm just in and out. That's it. No, man. Dude, honestly, no, but honestly, if I, I mean, which I, because I remember when I, remember I used to date Natalie GameStop girl. Um, GameStop girl. Okay, so, she worked at GameStop. <laughs> GameStop yeah, she girl. Work at, yeah, she used to work at GameStop, and she brought a lot of 
I mean, she didn't know shit about games, but she brought a lot of people to GameStop. I remember I tried applying for GameStop and I got denied like five times. But they only so pay like they pay like, <laughs> eight, like why the fuck they yeah, pay so like eight fifty. No, they, yeah. their uh, managers get paid pretty well. Though. Like GameStop should be easy money. To be yeah. honest, to be honest, to be people easy money. go buy retro games. We're spending like, way too much time you, on this. If you had a no, better I have something to say model? about GameStop. Oh my god! Go ahead, go ahead. Say, say what you want to say about. Well, GameStop. I wanted to say it's like okay, GameStop. Like if you really think about it. Buying games physically is going to become obsolete soon. Mm-hmm. Which Hell is nah, why, girl. Like, what you saying? I buy games. I can't buy them. Boy, all. I said soon. I'm not saying now, but it's going to happen eventually. It's so it's GameStop is soon. Like, it's not going to exist anymore. So honestly, it's like, yeah, they need a makeover in their store. And yeah, they need employees that don't talk too fucking much. But like, honestly, if you really think about it, like, you know, GameStop going away well, and I mean, like I, selling, I, I, having to sell games at you know, basically regular fucking price after they buy it from you for 25 cents. Like... No, I think at this point... It's uh, like, how are they gonna... I, I hate to say this because I don't like this restaurant, but they need to be a little bit more like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Their, God's, God's their the customer fast food. service needs to get, you know, <laughs> no, upscale. Well, their prices. Their prices, like, too. No, no honestly. Prices honestly. Like, the the people that are there, they sell you the games. The people that work there, they represent the store. And that's why we all have like, exactly kind of like a nasty saying. taste for no, this GameStop. Because, because, because of the people and that work there, too. if they want there people too. to come to GameStop, they should have more tournaments. They should have, like, they you used to You can have the best place. customer service if your prices are shit. I'm not going to buy it. Like, the prices at Chick-fil-A are shit. They're expensive. They're expensive. But because of the customer service. Is so like good, Chick-fil-A. people exactly, I, I like Chick-fil-A. exactly. But man, if, like I said, <laughs> that Game doesn't Stops, stop y'all from going to other restaurants. That's like, what I'm saying, though. But Chick Fil A is still like no, super popular. If you tell me there's a Jack in the Box next to Chick Fil A, where you think I'm going? Chick Fil A. Where you think I'm going? If there's a Bird King, <laughs> well, I don't Chick-fil-A. know. I don't know. I'm just saying that's just I'm, one I'm just aspect. An example. No, there's prices. It's, that's just one aspect. I'm just giving a quick example. In, in Northline Mall, where <laughs> Northline Mall used to be at, there's a Chick Fil A right that. there, right there on Cross Timbers she and in 45. Man. I don't really fucking live all the way over okay. fucking here. Well, for, there's a Chick Fil A <laughs> right there. Right next to the Chick Fil A is a Sonic, a KFC, oh and God. something else. No one's at those fucking restaurants. You know where they're all at? Chick Fil A. Anyways, well, I don't all right. know because uh, I get Res- the shits when I eat everything else. So, so Resident Evil 2. Yes, remake. Resident Evil 2. Woo! Let's talk about it that. It came out. Now. Yes. Um, Actually, I have to reset because we took so Okay. Long. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to grab another beer. All right. So uh, this week, uh, Friday, 1-11, they released a Resident Evil 2 remake one-shot demo. Yes, yes they did. Yes, they did. So I don't play scary games, so I'm relevant to this. Badass. <laughs> so badass. Uh, I was privileged enough to play it a day earlier privileged. before yeah. the game was actually released in the U.S. Hacker. Uh, That's why he had that cheese thing on his it. Xbox. It was yeah. so much fun. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he played it a day earlier. <laughs> I thought you were installing I think port. you got on, like, what yeah. servers? Uh, I was currently... He's hacking. Germany? I was in New Zealand for a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what well, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well... It's because they, they said that there was people already playing it. I was like, how the fuck are they playing it? So I Googled it, and then, like, the first thing that popped up is uh, Microsoft.com dot slash New Zealand or something. I was like, oh. So when you went to that website, it's like, oh, you can download the game already. Just sign into your account. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> Either way, I, oh, well. the, the game itself, the... And for a demo, because I mean, this is just a demo, a 30, 30 minute demo. 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And no more so you can do a lot in 30 minutes if, if you know exactly what you're so. doing. I didn't do shit. There was this guy who had a whole bunch of profiles on YouTube and he kept going into it and like he started doing speed runs. Um, but the game itself, the only thing I, I, I like the demo. The demo's great. Graphics are amazing. Everything's good. It sometimes feels a little too fast. Um, but which is my probably my only my little one complaint is that it, it moves too too fast it, it doesn't hold and the gun aim um, I really don't like it I think they could do better if they go back to Resident Evil Four with that red dot I think that would be better I like that one better um, I don't know maybe because I'm I, I'm old school but I like so that one better. I played it actually uh, the VOD is on uh, the uh, Twitch TV the three way podcast you can watch me uh, stream it. A short stream, obviously, it was only a 30-minute uh, stream uh, or so, and that's all they give you. And you can't really go back. if you you got to basically go to another profile and run it again. But, man, played it. Um, <clears throat> f- it freaked me out, so it did. That <laughs> ended, I, know, I heard it you worked. freaking out when I was watching the stream. <laughs> that ended. It, it's, it's, it did it all right. Like, it hit all the right buttons when it oh, came to oh. the horror part of it. Mm-hmm. Um the puzzles, I liked it. I didn't obviously didn't get to solve all the puzzles that I encountered, 
I think I only saw like one or two. But shit, I didn't solve shit. I was just running through. Yeah. <laughs> um, but man, they feel good. Yeah. They, 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 that satisfaction you get from figuring it out. Yeah. Felt good. Um, the 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 mechanics. Um, I get what you're saying, but to me, everything felt good. The, yeah. The running around, the traversal, the the combat, the aiming. If it you all, shoot a zombie. Five times in the fucking head. Hey, the, it should only take three times to blow off his fucking survival head. Survival horror. This yeah. ain't uh, Resident Evil Six. Six. Garbage. Okay, if you want to go shoot, kill motherfuckers in one shot, two shots, go play that. Yeah. But this is survival horror, and that's the thing that got me is when you you feel powerless against these zombies. You start to get that tension. You start to get you know that suspense in you. Man, it just. It hit all the right buttons to me. Uh, I wasn't going to mm-hmm. buy Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say that. I, w- I wasn't going to get it. Initially, I was like, you know what? These guys got it. They're going to play it. They can talk about <clears throat> it. But after playing it, man. because we know about games, bro. <clears throat> Simple as that. Fuck. Like, man. It, just playing it felt so good. It it, it it feels like it brought that nostalgia back. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I'm having... I'm ha- uh, Yeah, I think I might have to get this. The- no, go ahead. The Resident Evil, they use a lot of Resident Evil 7. Uh, yeah, it's the tab- same engine. It, it's, it's, they use, it's the same engine, yeah. But the way they did it, which I think was pretty cool, was like, like Los saying Survival, um, you have to board up, you have to be tactical too. So mm-hmm. that's still there. Um, it's just, the, the mechanics were, it was just a great all-around demo, better than some of the demos that I had. I mean, it reminds me of Destiny when Destiny first came out. And you know how we kept playing it over and over again? The alpha? If, yeah, if they would have, uh, if they would have allowed us, that, <laughs> good times. Yeah, if they would have. Yeah, allowed they came us. over so and they you're played hyped it. for Destiny. I'm like falling asleep. Yeah, because he had a, a early <clears throat> alpha code, <clears throat> and we, he's like, yeah, like y'all need to try this out, and I tried it, and we were all fucking hugged. We, we, we lost it to like. <laughs> Three, I think. Yeah, and we were PlayStation got only first. System, so we're like constantly. Yeah, because PlayStation and got And then you first. got beta codes, and you like gave us all, and that's what we got got on the beta. No, no. but just to go back on Resident Evil. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this game, as far as like it's it's the the, atm- the atmosphere, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I really loved about it is that yes, it's the same engine as Resident Evil Seven, but Resident Evil Seven like was actually was actually like scary like i was like oh fuck yeah Resident like, Evil 7 was scary. this is scary it's like first person and you know you're in this it's house i'm on that wheelchair and in resident evil 2 the remake like it's the same engine but it, it it is scary but not as scary you feel more in control of the character of the mm-hmm. game and you feel more powerful like against like what you have to face but and i think played it. and i think that's why i liked it more than like i'm liking this more than i'm liking resident mm. evil 7 which resident evil 7 was great too yeah it was great a lot of people don't don't give resident evil 7 credit <clears throat> resident evil 7 was a fucking amazing game and like what pissed me off was like some girl that had probably never played resident evil in her life on ign gave it a review and gave it a six i feel like punching her in the face because that was the most <laughs> stupidest thing i ever sure. heard yeah I she remember it, IGN uh, giving it a better score than that. No, IGN gave it like a 6.4 or 7.4 something. It was really low. I and I was like, you trash, girl. Stop stop playing video games. But uh, yeah, the, the game itself, um, they went back to its roots. And I think the reason why you feel that way, Elias, is because you played the game before, so you kind of know what to expect. And no, what, it's not just that. I mean, no, it's, I, it's more like just the way the, the game is now. Like, it's, it's the third person behind the shoulder. Yeah. And, like, you... I mean, you do have a gun in Resident Evil 7, but you really don't feel like like it, it does anything. Like <laughs> Well, because yeah. of the dad. The dad's chasing you around the whole no, fucking but, house, and he doesn't yeah, die. Yeah, true. Uh, the, ba- the thing about... And what I really like about this demo so far um, is it doesn't... It's not one for one what Resident no, Evil 2 not. was. Yeah. It feels like they add, you know, they, well, I know they added different rooms. Yeah, they added new places. Things are in different places. Um, Encounters have changed. It's essentially the same game, the same story at least, but Mm. the gameplay is very different. And that's what is getting me, because I thought it was like a one for one. Everything is in the same. Wait, so could this game be potentially as scary as Resident Evil 7? Yes. It could. It could. It could. could. Since this is just a demo. I don't think it's going to get. You don't think so? As the the scare factor in Resident Evil 7 was. Uh, Maybe not. I don't don't think so. 7 was really scary. But but I think this one would be. Because I watched gameplay on 7, and that. Resident Evil 2 would be. That's what she read. Oh, seven point seven. Oh, Resident this Evil one, Seven game. This one would game be changer. more yeah, more attractive to to more people to play. This one would feel more like friendly for somebody to play. 
Especially like since you and see he, you see the character, he, he feels more familiar because you know the character. Yeah, Leon. And like I don't know, I just feel like this one would be a little bit more successful Look, than Seven I, Wars. I know a lot of people don't like scary games. I got into it because of Resident Evil, um, <clears throat> and I still only play certain certain scary games, um, like the whole VR things, like the ones that he would tell me that PT one. I don't mm-hmm. think I can do that one. But it it, it you this one it's a lot more action in it, so I think you'll like it. And it is scary, but it's not as scary. You're yeah, more, you're gonna, know. you're gonna panic more along the lines of, oh shit, I'm running out of ammo. Oh shit, I gotta run here. Oh shit, I'm dying. I, I think that's what it is. Just watch, watch some of the. Yeah. And then just I mean, it. I already watched the demo, and I know I'm Resident, not gonna be able to play it. I, already, I already know yeah, that. If you, if you, if you I, think the demo, this is scary? You, yeah, it's not. Resident it's Evil Seven is. I've way already scarier. watched. I've already Ooh. watched gameplay on Resident Evil Seven. I watched streams on it, and I thought that was scary, and I didn't even play it. It was badass. So. I love that game. <laughs> well, um, let's go ahead and finish gaming with that. And IGN, stupid. Let's move mm-hmm. into sports. Oh, yeah, so... Cue sound effects. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, so like it's, it's a home <laughs> run. <laughs> it's out of here. Well, okay, so it was Black Monday a uh, couple of weeks ago. Two weeks ago, right? Two That's racist. Ago. And um, <laughs> and so a lot of head coaches were fired. Uh, unfortunately, the Texans. But now, now a lot of head coaches were hired. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> but uh, sadly, the Texans did not fire Bill O'Brien. But a lot of coaches got hired, as Elias mentioned. Well, we know let, the the main big one that's being talked about is Freddie Kitchens with the uh, Baltimore. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Baltimore. So Baltimore Browns. Cleveland fired Cleveland the person Browns. who built the team, Hugh Jackson, and hired. Uh, Basically, the guy who has been steering... Um, Freddie Kitchens. Yeah, uh, steering uh, Mayfield, uh, Baker Mayfield, throughout the whole season <laughs> is was the quarterback's coach. Uh, yeah, Freddie Kitchens. Um, guy really hasn't done anything. Um, I mean, he, he did give the, a little bit more offense to the Browns. I, I just... I think they could have done better. Mm-hmm. I really do believe they could have done better. But I mean, we got he's a first time head coach, so yeah. you can't really judge because everybody was a first time head coach at one point in time or mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not so, I mean I mean Sean McVay, nobody knew but his he, name and uh, Yeah, okay. and then, see that's the thing, is I feel like the whole league is trying to get the next Sean McVay. Um and that's fine. Um, so there's a lot of young blood coming into the head coaching jobs this this upcoming year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and that's cool. I, I mean I like young it. minds, new ideas. Yeah. But they're trying to cap that, catch that, you yeah. know, flame in a bottle with uh, like Sean like, McVay. I, obviously, I don't think all these coaches are are, are with it. Freddie Kitchens, on on the other uh, hand, I mean, uh, he did do a great job with Baker Mayfield throughout the. Well, he didn't lead the there. team. That was uh, Greg Williams. Yeah, you're right. Um, mm-hmm. But they, Greg Williams, been in the league for years and years and years, and they He's didn't never, decide to go that yeah. route. They decided to go with the offensive coordinator that de- replaced Haley, mm-hmm. and Baker Mayfield. All of a sudden, started having a great rookie season. Um, so they they decided to go with Freddie Kitchens' young mind. Yeah. Uh, let's and, see and, how that goes. And th- th- this is good. That trying to, get, I think the NFL is trying to get new blood because I was tired for 20 years. You're trying to find the next Bill Belichick, and you go with the Belichick tree and all this other bullshit. Nah, try to find a new uh, head coach. <laughs> so another hire uh, was um, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers mm-hmm. hired Bruce Arians along with Todd Bowles since they fired Todd Bowles from the New York Jets. Um, he's gonna be in Tampa Bay, which I think is a very good pickup. I just don't think they're gonna keep Jalen Winston. Uh, Bruce Arians, um, he had he was fired. For, he was retired for this past season. Retired, came out of retirement. Um, I thought he got fired from Arizona. Well, uh, sure, but he decided to retire because he led the Colts. He, he led the Colts to playoffs several years mm-hmm. um, as an offensive coordinator and as a head coach when Chuck Pagano got. Uh, Got sick and got cancer. Then he went to the Arizona. Where in Arizona, he made him a playoff team for about two or three years. So he has a playoff background. I just think he's never had the quarterback outside of Andrew Luck. Uh, and Jameis Winston is not the quarterback for him. So I don't know if it's going to be a great hire. But that's also a hire uh, if for you Buck fans out there in Florida. Um, uh, who else? Well, Mike McCarthy. Got fired from Green Bay. Right. And he basically said, I'm not doing no interviews unless it's with the New York Jets. So he said that? yeah. Oh wow. So he's not the Jets. The J- I don't know. I mean, the Jets have Sam Darnold. 
No, uh, which is that. an up and coming quarterback. So no, but the Jets, to build around. the Jets got Adam Gase. Uh, so Adam oh, Gase. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I apologize. I did forget about that. Uh, Adam Gase was with the Dolphins. And um, he went to the Jets. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, you're right. McCarthy said that. The Jets was the only job he would be interested in. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like he's just going to take the, you know, time off. He's not going to mm -hmm. take another job. Um, but, yeah, they got Adam Gase. Uh, he went, you know, 5-1 and one, uh, against the Jets uh, with the Dolphins. So I guess the, uh, the Jets seen enough <laughs> where they're just like, yeah, we want this guy. Uh, Broncos hired uh, Vic Fang Fangio. And do you know who that is? He's the defensive coordinator for. Uh, he was the defensive coordinator for the Bears. And before that, um, he's been a defensive coordinator for a long time. Yeah, his first Patriots, head coaching. Right? He was here for Houston a little while. I don't know if you remember uh, Gary Kubiak. He, he was, was like oh, here for like a, like a, like for. A oh long really? Time. Yeah. Oh no, I know he has a long career being a defensive coordinator. Very respected in the league. This is gonna be. He's. He's he's what he's been in the league for fucking years. Like fifty, I think. Yeah. It's been here a while. Fifteen. No, he's been here his old, like a long fucking time. Uh, yeah. That dude's old. Yeah. Um, well, anyways, he he's got like his 60 first something. Yeah, he's sixty something. He got his first head coaching job with the Broncos. Um, so we'll see how we'll that see goes. How goes. He's a defensive minded coach, obviously. Been a defensive minded coach. And that's what they were trying to bring Gary speaking, Kubiak. Speaking of Gary Kubiak, he's he's wanting to come back too. No. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator. No. Yeah. He 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 canceled that. He's canceled uh, it. Yeah, because the Browns... I mean, the Browns... Oh, no, but he wanted to. The Broncos. the Broncos were going to bring him in. He was going to come back. And he said no. He said he no. Said, he said no, I don't want to come back. And mm. so the Broncos are not going to... No, but he doesn't want to be a head coach. No, he, he can't, man. No, and he, number he, wanted, one, he, he wanted to be an offensive Number one, he or. sucked. Do you remember that time in, in the Texans? He was like, I don't want Peyton Manning. I want Matt Schaub. And then he went to Denver and he was forced to get Peyton Manning. And he won a Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Stupid ass. He's a dumbass head coach. Um, that's, that's Texas. Uh, Zach Taylor uh, most likely going to get uh, acquired by the Bengals after they uh, Marvin Lewis. And that's an interesting one down. there. That's an interesting one there because, um, uh, uh, no, they fired Marvin Lewis. Yeah, yeah. They fired He didn't step yeah, down. Yeah, he, yeah, he got yeah, fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's not much. Man, honestly, Andy Dalton has been nothing but a one-year wonder for the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't know what they're going to do because you have A.J. Green and you're just you killing You need to rebuild his, that team. Um, you're just killing his career. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. So Adam Schefter reported that Harry, uh, Gary Kubia did want to be the offensive coordinator, but then when he went for the interview, that the team and him had the different ideas of how how the team was going to be structured. So mm. that's why he didn't take the job. Yeah, he probably didn't want something. He didn't good. like the way that were they were going to do. The, he wanted Matt Schaub. He didn't want Peyton Manning. Mm. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't take. I wouldn't Gary take Kubiak's Gary Kubiak's advice. advice. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, yeah, Zach what, Taylor he won two Super Bowls, no. He's only won one Super Bowl. No, and then he in the nineties. In the nineties, he was a he was an coordinator, coordinator for uh, the Broncos. John Elway. Yeah, because yeah, so he won more than one. Because he was Super the backup Bowl. to Mike uh, John Elway, so yeah. So actually, he's proven. He has pedigree. Get out of here. Up until you uh, the Texas. Zach Taylor, <laughs> Carr, Zach. Carr has pedigree too. <laughs> Zach Taylor, uh, the quarterbacks coach for the Rams. Obviously, I mean, I, people are hyping up the quarterbacks play of the Rams. I think. I think that team is more defensive and running. What? Should be. Because should be. the quarterback has his on and off days. So for them to be hyping up Zach Taylor, the quarterback's coach, like, come on. I haven't seen enough from um, from that. Yeah, from golf to be like, oh, my God. Yes, he's one of the best. No, chill. But th I think those are the only main. No, actually, that makes sense. I think you're right. I think their their main thing is the defense and the running game. Uh, the Jaguars are deciding to stick with Doug Marone. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Jaguars. So, uh, Shad Khan announced that Marone and general Shad manager Khan. Dave Caldwell will both be returning for the 2019 season. Although it sounds both guys will be on a short leash. Uh, this is from yeah, NFL. Yeah, but I, I think, though, the ones we mentioned were the main hires. I don't think nobody else got hired or got fired. Everybody, Well, unfortunately, because Bill O'Brien got to go. But, um, you know, uh, the Ravens already re-signed uh, John Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to be with them. And... Uh, what the next, I guess, Michael Vick, I guess you want to call him that. I mean, Michael Vick didn't last the long next in the league. And the Cardinals, they hired uh, Cliff Kingsbury. Which, I have no idea who he is. He's a college coach. No, no idea. God, that fool was hired and fired like so much in the past six months. Yeah, no so idea. he, uh, but he's also supposedly the person that, you know, groomed Patrick Mahomes. So, uh, you know, failed as a college coach. Twice. Fired after tex uh, from Texas Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, 
High risk, high reward Sounds for like, them. They're trying to get that McVay uh, fire. Sounds like me when I used to quit like on my job like after three months. When, they, when I was earning $10, $12 an hour, I'd be like quitting every three months, three, six months. All right. Well, good analogy. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to the next. Moving on <laughs> to the next. So, yeah. Uh, I ain't worth my trouble. Like I said, a lot, of te- a lot of teams trying to get that next uh, McVay. Uh, it seems that the Cardinals think they got that. Who fucking knows? Mm-hmm. I, I'm ex- I like I like all this shit though because it makes for more entertainment next season when we're. I mean, I don't you know, like we it. See who these coaches are really about because that brings like hope to a franchise, and we still have Bill O'Brien. To me, it's like <laughs> so upset. <laughs> yeah, so upset we're, about that. Like, uh... Obviously, I mean, how long has he been now? <laughs> He's been here like five years, I think. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. But we had a uh, Gary Kubiak for like nine years, I think. Ten years. No, it was five ever. No, we got five him ever. in two thousand six. Five ever. Yeah, we had him for yeah, a while. Yeah, we got him in two thousand six, and he didn't leave till two thousand fifteen. No. Yes, yeah. bro. Well, O'Brien's been here long in the, uh, way before fifteen. Yeah. Way before. No, he hasn't. Yes, he. Three-way podcast does not back check. Yeah, but anyway, uh, <laughs> fuck Bill O'Brien. And 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 um, him as a coach, not as a person, because he he's a very good person. From what I understand, and you know, <laughs> good family man, whatever. But you as a coach, you trash, bro. Uh, you trash. My my right toe knows more knowledge. Yeah, than but you. Uh, we're gonna his be, right toe. Uh, his right toe. His right toe. Um, putting our. We have a camp show, which is uh, live yes. on Twitch. It's not, 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 it's not, not what you're that. thinking. That's not what you guys are thinking. Like, we not have our clothes on, guys. Thinking. We have our clothes yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, but if y'all want it all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where every... Uh, Donations, bitches. Every Sunday night after the playoff games throughout the, uh, throughout the NFL playoffs, we're going to be uh, you know, giving our analysis on the games. So follow us on twitch.tv slash the through a podcast. Yeah. Uh, we'll be putting the vid- the yep. videos VOD on uh, YouTube, YouTube on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. Tuesdays we'll after. put the POV. I mean the VO. POV. The VO. <laughs> the POV. The, 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 the P, Whatever. The VOD. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, please show up for those where we dedicate, you know, however. It, we don't have a time limit on those. We just talk football, football, football. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Give us your comments. Let us know exactly. Is that Oh, what you guys want to talk about? Words, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. That's good. All right. Bill well, O'Brien has been with the Texans since 2014. Boom. Boom, Boom dumbass. Yeah, you Boom. said this. I said 2015. That's one year less. You were like, he's been your way before. <laughs> you stupid fuck. Well, Damn. Right. Let me shut the fuck up. That's and, what he and, said. And Gary Kubiak came in. I won that. Gary Kubiak. Gary Kubiak came in either 2006 or 2005 because that was the year they went and got Matt Schaub because David Carr was with Gary Kubiak for one year. Go ahead. Okay, we're we're gonna fact check All this right, too. Anyways. Well, anyways, uh, are we yeah, done yet? It. Thank you, everyone, for listening, watching. Can I close uh, it out? <laughs> you guys talk about sports. At least let me do something. Okay, go ahead. Okay, There'll be a POV. <laughs> 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 With Elias. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this guy, don't listen to him. Woo. Anyways, thanks for watching. Three Way Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Get our notifications. We're, li- we're live. <laughs> we're not live every Monday. We're- new shows every Monday. Hump Day show every Wednesday. Um, yeah, follow us on everything. Three Way Podcast, number three. Listen Yay. to us on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Your body Anchor, everywhere. You can watch us. You can listen to me. us. Thank you. Boom. Thank you. Bye, Bye suckers. Fact check. Fact check. Let's fact check. Let's fact check real quick. I know he came in.